The state of the art 10 bed ICUs is a drive to the structural and functional expertise of the care delivery system. 10 bed ICU project was started in June 2021 in response to the second covid wave in order to improve the critical care infrastructure of rural government hospitals. In the last six months, we have completed deploying 10 bed ICUs in 40 hospitals of Telangana and 36 hospitals of Andhra Pradesh. We are currently working in Karnataka and various northeastern states. For the overall improvement of the healthcare structure of Nagaland, 12 10 bed ICUs are to be set up across the state. The team is working closely with the project management unit set up by the state. consisting of senior officials from the government and the 10-bed ICU partners. The PMU is responsible for planning, administering and supervising the implementation of the project. At Kifre, a conference hall of a hospital is identified and restructured to meet the requirement of the 10-bed ICU project. Additionally, all these 12 ICUs, including the one set up at Kifre, will be linked into one network for tele-ICU with the Kohima Hospital as the command center. The idea of the 10-bed ICU program is to create ICU infrastructure in rural government hospitals. And in the middle of uh, the COVID wave 2, here in India, we found a lot of people suffering because of uh, want of ICU infrastructure, and ventilators and oxygen and so on. So we realized that uh, we need to try and uh, do something about it. So a bunch of NGOs came together and uh, we decided that we will try and uh, raise funding in order to create the 10 bed ICU, a uh, unit of 10 beds in uh, government hospitals, select government hospitals. Kifre is one of the remotest districts in the state of Nagaland, but is also the most geomorphologically interesting zone of the state. This district is uh, the remotest district in our state, Nagaland state. It lies at the southeast corner of our state. The nearest uh, uh, medical facilities, big facilities like big hospitals are uh, at 13, 14 hours away. In Kifre district, there are villages yet to be connected with the rest of the state. Inadequate infrastructure and bad roads detain the development of this area. Shortfalls in public movement especially affect medical emergencies. During monsoon season, it becomes more pitiable as the landslides are common in this place. Sometimes patients die on the road as hospitals facilities are nearly 300 kilometers away. The challenges faced by the people here in accessing healthcare, specifically critical healthcare, was compounded with the outbreak of the coronavirus. The first outbreak of the coronavirus in Nagaland began on the 25th of May 2020. First group was from Bangalore and uh, Chennai, and that time we had uh, we didn't have any testing facility here. Yeah. So all the returnees they were checked in Dimapur, but the loads were too much. Initially, after testing, those who were found positive, they were kept in quarantine. Contamination cases were less during the first wave when compared to the second wave. The second wave has established an immense toll on human lives in these places. 200 active cases are reported at Kifre during the second wave. Eight were dead. Lack of critical care in the hospital for the patients, unavailability of skilled and trained staff, and the poor mobility conditions impacted the death toll in the district. Within this area, and uh, means North East specifically, uh, surprising to one thing is that the second wave has not resided. Means steady figures are there. There is no peak, uh, but there is no crest also. So there is a steadiness. Means to, uh, the cases, uh, day by day cases are steady. We have very few, we are just 11 doctors running the hospital. So that review we come to know what was given. So protocol wise we did everything. But when they come with the SP level so low, so it, it is a bit difficult. Otherwise we have an anesthetist uh, who looks after the ICU. 
we tried uh, she tried um, ventilation one but the patient refused also just In Kifri district the spread of pandemic covid-19 exposed the challenges faced by the prevailing healthcare system lack of infrastructure icu beds diagnostic equipment and amenities human resources vehicular mobility bad conditions of the road and remoteness of the place or exacerbate any potential waves of epidemics and pandemics in district hospital we are facing a little difficult way because we don't have a separate uh, room for icu bedded in some phcs and then even in sub center manpower is very less upon accelerating the process 10 bed icus will be provided at kifre and other identified hospitals in nagaland the 10 bed icu project works in partnership with the state to identify the problems faced by the public health system and come up with customized offerings for the state the icus setup have high quality equipments like hybrid ventilators from hamilton medical and x-ray machines to ensure best quality care to the patients The AI based auto weaning functionality in these Hamilton ventilators are unique and considered the best specifically in remote settings where an intensivist may not be available at the hospital all the time through support of local NGOs the project is deployed with great attention to detail Corona Trust with their years of experience in the space bring in valuable insight to the project to ensure that the patients availing the treatment have received the best care tele icu tooling will be deployed here this will enable specialists from the identified urban command centers to monitor the patients remotely and advise on the right treatment in fact the status of deployment of 10 bed icus along with the tele icu centers can be tracked from our website The project is a balanced partnership between governments, NGOs and businesses to create a lasting impact in the public healthcare structure of the country, not only to enable rural and remote India to withstand the next covid surge, but to improve the quality of life of the citizens living in such places.